Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this beautiful supply chain dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page of supply chain dashboard. And here we are showing the total order, total cost, number of orders which are delayed, urgent order and the percentage of on time order. We are also showing the high, high value order percentage and urgent order percentage as well as we are showing here total order by the month so you can see the monthly trend also and total order by the supplier we have given on the left hand side and the right hand side some slicers like year month product and status location supplier let's say i want to select a location so i can simply just click here then you can see the location wise status and everything will be changed or will be filtered according to the selected uh, slicer okay or you can select the product also so that you can see product label information also okay now let me show you the other pages also on the top we have given the navigation pan so let's say i want to analyze the location analysis so let's uh, click on the location analysis now automatically this will we are showing here total cost by the location. We have taken here four different location distribution center one, distribution center A and center B, warehouse one, warehouse two. Okay. And here we are showing the quantity by the location, urgent order percentage by the location, high value order percentage by the location. And you can see it by the slicer or even you can see it by month also. You can select any month and you can see it. everything will be filtered. All right. Now let's go to the supplier analysis similar to the location one we have taken few supplier here and we are showing here total cost by the supplier if you want to see it for a month you can just select that then we are showing here quantity by supplier and this is the urgent order by the supplier and this is high value order count by the supplier okay now let's see the product analysis here we are showing the product level analysis we have taken six product here so you can see the total cost by the product let's select any month you can see the information for that particular month this is quantity by the product and this is urgent order percentage by the product and here we have high value order percentage by the product okay and here you can select any location also if you want to see the information for a particular location you can select that now let me show you the monthly trend also here you can see the monthly trend for the total cost and here you can see the delayed order by the month and here you can see the high value order by the month now if you want to see the trend for a particular product you can select that product now let's say for this product i want to see the location distribution center a you can select that accordingly you can see everything is getting changed so you can select two slicer also together or you can select multiple one also so to select the multiple item in a slicer you can just check this multiple select or you can press control key let's say this product and this product then this they are unchecked rest are selected so they, the these two are selected or if you click here and you can press control and just click here these two products are selected now it is showing the cumulative data of these two products only all right so this is the dashboard now i will show you how you can update your data in this dashboard because this is a ready to use dashboard so let's go to the file options just go to the advanced then scroll it down and go to the display option for this workbook click on show sheet tab click on ok now here we have all worksheets you can see now we have data sheet in the data we have the order id supplier product location order date delivery date status and then we have quantity unit cost total cost then we have some other columns also like delays days on time yes or no updated by updated on high value order yes or no you can decide the how high value order according to your business for example if cost is greater than 20000 or 30000 then it can be a high value order otherwise it can be a normal order then order is delay if it is delayed then you can put here yes otherwise no urgent order if it is urgent order you can tag here as urgent or you can put here no 
then we have created some calculations here using the formulas like on time order 1 and 0 so if on time order is yes then we are taking 1 otherwise 0 here we have delayed and similarly we have used that if delayed is yes then 1 otherwise 0 and same for the other formulas also here we have used the month and year and this is urgent order count this is high value order count using these all calculation we have created the calculated field in the support sheet in the pivot table so we have here various pivot table you can see and we have created these all the pivot table to create the various charts and cards on these pages like overview location analysis supplier analysis product analysis and monthly trend okay now to update your data you can just update your data till column r so you just need to delete this data from row number four just keep the first row as it is so that you can keep the formulas there so we have the formula formula don't delete the formula and then you can update your data since here from here okay and then you can just go to the data tab and just refresh all once you click on refresh all automatically all the pages will be refreshed now let me show you the support sheet and here we have created all the pivot tables so these pivot tables are for the overview page so we have the overview page we have displayed here these cards then some charts so we are showing the information here like total order total cost delayed order urgent order count here we have for other charts also like we are showing here some information on time order percentage this one so we have taken this max value and order value so we have displayed here this progress bar then we have created the battery charts also using these fever table and then we are showing here monthly trend this line chart and we are showing this supplier wise analysis also this one all right then on the next page this is the name of the next page that is location analysis this one we are showing here one two three and four charts so here we have created these four pivot table you can see then the next phase we have again four pivot table these four then on the next one we have again four pivot table and in the last we have a monthly trend after creating the pivot table we can create the charts also now i can quickly show you how we have created the pivot table so you can just go to the data and just click on the table anywhere this is the table you can see here table design and name of the table is data so first just convert your range into the table and then go to the table design and just say summarize with pivot table just click on that and let's say on new worksheet just click here so it will take you to the new worksheet and here we have created some calculated fields also okay so you can create the calculated field from the pivot table analyze and from here calculated field we have created some calculated field like delayed order that is delayed order divided by total order okay and high value order high value order count divided by total order as well as on time order so we have created uh, multiple formulas which we have used i can show you here if i click on any pivot table pivot table analyze we can say list formulas so it will create a list of the formulas these all are the formulas which we have used and uh, here we can show you how we can create a pivot table so to create a pivot table you just need to drop uh, here uh, let's say i want to create a pivot table for high value order or let's say a on time order so let's put the on time order in the values so it is showing the on time order now the max value of the on time order can be one so we have already created a calculated field for the max value you can see that here that is one or hundred percent okay so now we have created this pivot table this is normal pivot table and uh, if you want to put anything in the rows like i want to put here supplier name i can just put the supply name here so that will be by supplier then you can just double click here and go to the number format and this is a percentage just take one decimal or two decimal click on okay and the max value also let's take here percentage okay then you can go to the design and you can choose a design from here let's say i am taking this one and you can remove this sum of also this one and just enter and this one also all right then let's say i don't want to take it by supplier i will show you how we have created this progress chart here 
so let's come to the seat one and uh, just insert a chart and we will take this bar chart this one so this is a bar chart you can see now just double click on this and make sure minimum unit is zero maximum is one which is 100 percent okay and we can remove the legend and grid lines from here as well as we can remove the title if it is so title is not there now let's go to the pivot chart analyze from the field button we'll just say hide all okay and we can remove the axis also all right now we can see this one now here this is the max value we will fill a light color like this one and here we will fill a dark color of the same theme let's say this one then just right click and go to the format data series and change the gap width slightly and the series overlap just take here 100 percent okay now we can just change the value exchange this value just move the uh, max value here on the left let me show you so field list in the so field list just right click so field list and move the max value here now we can see this is showing a field value just right click add a data label and that data label is appearing here all right that is how we have created this 23 percent now if i insert any slicer let's select this insert a slicer from the insert and let's take a slicer of location for example now if i select the location then you can see that value is getting changed all right friends so that is how we can create this progress chart now friends if you want to learn more about this kind of dashboard like how we can create this type of custom slicers how we can create these type of pivot tables and how we can create these all calculated field like we have created and after that how we can create this type of dashboard you can join our udemy course we have given the link in the video's description box all right friends friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching